Hello friends, this video on simple equations part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about the basics of simple equations, let us try to solve some questions. Question number 1. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not. Now even before we start trying this, let us first try to understand what do we mean by solution of an equation. So solution of an equation means that value of the variable which when put in place of the variable, the equation will be true. That means let, let us look at the first example. So the first example is 7n plus 5 is equal to 90. So a solution of this equation would be such a value of n for which LHS is equal to RHS. So that value of n for which whatever value you get from 7n plus 5 should be equal to 90. Only then that is called solution of this equation. Right. So here the value that is given is minus 2. So let us put n is equal to minus 2. So LHS what would be LHS? LHS would be 7 into minus 2 plus 5. So this is equal to minus 14 plus 5 which is equal to minus 9. And what is the value of the RHS? RHS is 90. So what do we see? We see that LHS is not equal to RHS. So do you think that n is equal to minus 2 is a solution? No, this is not a solution of this equation. Let us try with the next one which is 4p minus 3 is equal to 13. So here the solution that is given is p is equal to 0. So let us put p is equal to 0 in LHS. It becomes 4 into 0 minus 3 which is equal to 4 into 0 is 0. So 0 minus 3 is minus 3. And what is the value on the RHS? That is 13. So in this case also we see that LHS is not equal to RHS. So what do you think? Is P equal to 0 a solution of this equation? No, this is also not a solution of this equation. Question number 2. Write equations for the following statements. The sum of numbers x and 4 is 9. Sum of numbers, that means when you add these numbers x and 4, that is x plus 4, then what is the result? The result is 9. So this would be the equation for this statement. 3 fourth of t is 15. 3 fourth, what do we mean by 3 fourth? It means 3 by 4 of something. 3 by 4 multiplied by something. What is that something? That something is the variable t. So 3 by 4 of t is equal to 15. If you take away 6 from 6 times y, you get 60. So if you take away 6, that means you are removing 6 from 6 times y. So basically you are subtracting 6 from 6 times y and what do you get? You get 60. If you add 3 to 1 third of z, so how do you write 1 third of z? It is nothing but 1 by 3 of z. So you add 3 to 1 by 3 of z and what do you get? You get 30. So z by 3 plus 3 is equal to 30. So this is how we convert statements into equations. Question number 3. Write the following equations in statement forms. Okay, so this is just the opposite thing now. So the first one is 3p plus 4 is equal to 25. So what are we actually doing here? We are adding 4 to 3 times p. So that means 4 added to 3 times p gives what? Gives 25. Similarly in the second one what are we doing? We are adding 2 to half of p. So 2 added to half of p gives 8. In the third one, what are we doing? Are we adding something? No, we are subtracting something. That means 2 subtracted from 4 times p or we can say 2 taken away from 4 times p. So 2 subtracted from 4 times p gives 18. 
So these are pretty simple. So you just need to understand what do you mean by a specific linear equation. Question number four. Set up an equation in the following cases. Irfan says that he has seven marbles more than five times the marbles Parmeet has. Irfan has 37 marbles. Take M to be the number of Parmeet's marbles. Okay, so this is something which we had discussed. So as per our step one, Parmeet's marbles is something that we do not know. So we assume it to be a variable. Now here in the question it says that let's assume it as M. Perfect. Now the, our second condition is to establish the criteria. So what is the criteria? Irfan has seven marbles more than five times per meets marbles. So five times of per meets marbles would be 5m plus seven, so seven more. So 5m plus seven should be Irfan's marbles. But actually Irfan has how many marbles? He has 37 marbles. Therefore, 5m plus 7 is equal to 37 would be the equation. Let's look at the next one. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7. The highest score is 87. So we already know the highest score. So what we do not know? The lowest score. So let us assume the lowest score to be L. So our step 1 is done. What is going to be step 2? In step 2, we are going to establish the relationship. So in step 2, we would say that what is going to be our highest marks? So highest marks would be twice the lowest marks plus 7. So twice the lowest marks, that is 2L plus 7. And finally, in step 3, what are we going to do? We are going to set up the equation. So we are going to equate these, this highest mark, that is 2L plus 7, to how much? The given highest score that is 87. So 2L plus 7 is equal to 87 would be the equation. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.